How's going guys? Um, so, this video will be interesting because, yeah, I have nothing here, but, okay, I will answer you for your questions or just that you say how this style is terrible and why I am still doing this and why I just will not have a modern view for this. Well, yeah. It looks outdated and look at that how terrible it is. So yeah, it looks absolutely terrible when I a bunch of these apps I even don't have in my computer install. So I also changed the old style of the desktop from tool strip to list view because yeah, I started to make a list view desktop before but I had no knowledge about list box anymore or list view anymore so I just add toolbox because I had some knowledge about it so like here we have I better name it fast access folders so there we have so yeah it has still the windows 2000 icons yeah but i like it so because when we go yeah also my taskbar oh i think i can i will add here a button show desktop on explorer but okay i go my older stuff so that's my desktop here are some files some folders and yeah they have another icons down here so and what are these buttons well it is pretty useful but pretty pretty useful look at that i can see my files what i have there Without, I must run this stuff and just visit there. So, yeah, kind of a bit desktop upgrade, but yeah. So then I, we have personalized. So it is Windows ones. I'm working on it. So here it will not show, but okay. Yeah, I know it is stupid, but okay. One only change, what change is, is that these are not buttons anymore. These are tool strip buttons, so yeah. And I also added my volume editor, how I can rename it. So I can also this one and yeah, it worked pretty nice. So everything in Visual Basic, so. So I decide to upgrade myself to Windows 10 yeah so we go to Windows 10 right now because I'm tired from my shell and okay so we have Windows 10 it is a little brighter and oh my god the Windows 10 wallpaper is not incorrect it must should be in the center like my wallpaper but yeah, kind of. And do you actually know that Windows 10 picture is taken in real life? It is not made in Photoshop or like that. So, okay, that's uh, one fuck. But okay. Now, yeah, Windows 10, it still has my old start menu. Wait, what? Um, okay. So, okay, I switch to... MS bind, I don't know why I have it. So, there we go. I can set this MS bind to whatever I priority or I can maximize him. Wow, that's, that looks very cool. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I decide to then, then upgrade more to Windows 11. Yeah, I said Windows 11 came here to my PC because I hate it. I hate Windows 11, but whatever, I go there. Welcome to the Windows 11, so yeah, kinda the wallpaper is much bigger because it is made for 4K monitors, I don't have actually 4K monitor, so it just stacks here, so. Okay, I go to the start menu, see 
what is that? And yes, it still contains the old my start menu. I hate it. Oh my god. Okay. I decide to downgrade to something older. So maybe let's be big. Oh, old Windows 8.1. How? I must supposed to be to have here and it looks fantastically yeah even the size of the tiles so I have here the Windows 8 start menu it is not full screen but yeah there before but now the stuff are now in the start menu folder where it's supposed to be there so yeah I go downgrade more to Windows Eight only and there we have it so the start menu is missing or it is not this this little icon and there we have it so also the same as in windows 8.1 but yeah i can also disable it will affect start menu or desktop but i don't know i go to windows 7 Yes, Windows 7 is also beautiful, so there we have it. It still have the Windows 10 icon of a keyboard, but yeah, it is nothing about. So we go downgrade to Windows Vista, and there we have it. So the start menu, the start button, I don't know why also it didn't show up, but it must be here supposed to be here like right right in normal windows vista but yeah look at that it actually look like normal vista only the icons are messed up yeah i don't know why but okay we can also have the pin yeah and also lock the taskbar i rename him like abba because then i will get copyright strike or not or i think i got I will got copyright strike because of this all of these times so these styles and like that so yeah I can also run Vista Explorer to compline these in a second Windows files Windows Vista here we have Windows and there we have the Explorer so I just make the compatibility it will work okay colors it's useless so now there we have it so now when we run this up I hide this panel and when it as administrator and wait why the taskbar is much smaller than the original one what? Um, what is happening? Okay, so. Okay, I can't re really hide the desktop, but the winds spy plus plus. We have it here, go here, and now set the style to a window style. I can do this stop pop-up window of the like that and yeah it won't let me also do it because it is not but oh I can do it but it still <laughs> tries to make me difficult to did not go there but okay okay so I will also one Windows XP Explorer to test it out. So these are from Service Pack 1, but this one is from Service Pack 3. So I also use him in my, that is also most viewed in my channel, because also Geometry Dash Music. Okay. But yeah, this Explorer actually work if you, I don't know why it have Service Pack 3, but okay. So um, like that. And when we run him uh, okay we have some uh, one dl error so 
what's going on. So, but it is still working. And I don't know where he got the Vista taskbar appearance, but yeah. Oh, wait. Windows XP does have the tooltip like that. Oh, okay. I didn't set it, set it up, but yeah. Just this works. Also the start menu. So if I change here like that, oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, so it goes down to slightly fix it, and there we go, okay. So I set up do not auto hide, and there we have. So it also remembers what style I used, so I can set up now like Longhorn, like XP look, yeah, the, this start menu is not from the Windows Longhorn that is supposed to be like Windows XP look. Yeah, it look kind of nice if we look at it. So, yeah, I can go to another like, win like classic Longhorn and there we have one problem. So, remember the Windows 11, he was so, so long. So this is now so small because it is made for small <laughs> greens. Looks also awesome when we change, when we look at it. So yeah, so now XP is now and this background is now so slow. I will fix it later. This background is original from Windows XP, so... And yeah, the list view, how I have here, right now, can only do layout like tile and not actual strange or zoom or like that. I think I will upgrade my Visual Studio to 2008 or whatever, because I don't want a version 2019 or 2022 or... Yeah, I had here Visual Studio 2010, but it is completely another level I can understand, so... Yeah, I also add the XP's, also some themes, um, yeah, and there we go. And it looks kind of so, like, silver. Yeah, it is also nice, and there we go. So then, when we speed up, so... Then, the final last thing is Windows 98. There we go, so... This is last Windows I just create, right, like, now the style, and... It looks awesome, like, if you supposed here, so... We got the old classic drop downs from the Windows 98 or Windows 95 start menu. So, yeah, and also it is not Windows 98, 95, it is Mindos OS. So, yeah, so this start menu has helped me Google Bart or Google Gemini. Huge thanks for her. Or for he, I don't know. Yeah, that was all. So, and now the final moment of all time. One guy commented me how I can edit my shell, but the comment disappeared. I don't know where, I don't know why, but yeah, so I just made it my own style again. And how? Yeah, the orange color, if we go back, is kind of bit brightness. Yeah, it it is terrible, I know. And it is just only a color. It is not like a picture. Right now, the moment of two is here. I don't know if it is better or not better, but yeah, it is like that, and yeah, one supposed to be is also my newest start menu. Yeah, it look like this one, it can be also be sized like, for example, a full screen sized start menu, and yeah, and this image here, back here, 
is stolen from Magus of Bing, so I'm sorry also too, so yeah, I can change the size a little bit more, and there we have, so fix apps, what I have and what I don't have, do not have. Remember the, this style, it is actually stolen from this, from the Arrow style, so, and I just added this one, and it is not so glassy as it looks, but it is also transparent, so... I don't know how to make it better, but yeah, it works still. So, if you enjoy, if you want this shell to more upgrade, and also, yeah, when you watch any detail here, like also my graphics, also is a little bit, little bit laggier, I don't know why, but yeah, that's no matter. So, you hope you had seen this one. What the heck is stream mode? Well, Stream mode is now currently in progress, but you will be happy when the stream mode will be in progress. And just also do not forget it is created only by Kira1751 himself. Subscribe to see this mode done as soon as possible. So stream mode, okay, I leak something. Now here I have also helpful stuff and screen painter. Yeah, for the stream, I can basically do this, and for example, I can show up, um, for example, I can tell you. So now, if you press this button, it will basically close it, and like that, I, I can also do much stuff here, like, okay, like wet, and do this stuff, or I can also something, something paint, for example, here, or oh, maybe some triangles, like, for example, oh, it will not show up, but, yeah, <laughs> clear it again, and there we go, so, and if we want it to go away, I just here, and now we have the mine one and we can manipulate it with him so that was all so thank you for watching if you like my shell if you want something i must add here let me comment down below and we will see you in the next video bye oh wait i forget for something oh wait the shell is not fully made it because if I go here and want to go to properties, so yeah, it is about shell, it is not properties, so do you remember the date of the modify? Yeah, this shell of the previous shell was last modified on this date, so it is kind of older. I can also show you him. You I think remember him how he is look like yeah it looks terrible and some of those stuff also didn't work because I do not use process ID here to show up the processes but it just I use only the names the IDs I didn't use so that's why some those stuff didn't actually work, so, some does, because right now there are only one instance of one process, so yeah, so. And now change the date of the 6th July 2004, and there we go. Yeah, and I can change the version to 2, finally. Automatic version which with each publish, no, I want change it for me so and now publish now oh i just use this one so oh, no boil project boil shell there we have it so now when we go here there we have it so paste them so eight and there we paste them so now 
against the shell and now he replaced the shell with my new one. Okay, so now let's run the shell. If something is wrong, I can here fix it. We have a walking shell right now in the place. So, and now, whatever, it is working just fine. And yes, so now thank you for watching and see ya.